A Blue Springs mother was reunited with her son's ashes today. The family lost track of the cremation box while at the Kansas City Zoo yesterday. KCTV5's Carolina Cruz has more from the zoo. Staff at the zoo called Carmen Stiles this morning and they told her that an employee actually found the bag of ashes just outside the zoo at a bus stop. A reunion Carmen Stiles didn't think she'd experience. I'm over the moon happy, like I really am. She's talking about finding her son Eric's ashes. That's Eric. Carmen, her sister, and their kids lost the cremation box during a trip to the zoo yesterday. One of the kids took it out of the wagon they had and set it nearby. They left the area, though, without Carmen realizing what happened until 20 minutes later. Absolute devastation. It's, um, I've already fallen apart completely from losing him once, and then... Losing him a whole second time was just unbearable. The family and a few employees spent the day searching the grounds, but didn't find the cremation box. It wasn't until this morning a worker spotted the bag, but no box. The box is just the box. I mean, I got the most valuable, most important thing back that I didn't think I was going to get. It's been more than three months since Carmen Stiles hugged her son. We miss him tremendously. After having him at 17, he was her rock and her best bud. His sense of humor and his personality could like just make anybody's bad day turn amazing. Eric was 21 when he crashed his Ford Mustang into the bridge at 24 Highway in Arlington in Independence December 5th of 2020. Doctors declared him brain dead, but as an organ donor, he saved five lives. Carmen says his loss gets harder every day, but having his ashes with her helps during outings. She's overjoyed to have him back with her. Carmen says that her son Eric loved the mountains in Colorado, and it's been a goal of hers to make a trip out there to spread his ashes at one of his favorite spots. So she was really devastated, thinking that she wasn't going to be able to make that wish come true. With the ashes back now in her custody, she'll be able to spread those ashes in Colorado. Reporting in Kansas City, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News.